Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some of my favorite shortcuts for Affinity Photo. So let's get started. Here's my document where I prepare all of our shortcuts. I pick 10 most important shortcuts for this video. They should improve your workflow within this program. Keep in mind that I'm using Mac, Apple computers. So in my case, most shortcuts are related to command key. If you're on Windows, that will be control key on your keyboard. All right. With this out of the way, let's get started. The first and the most important shortcut for me is simply common plus and common minus. As I mentioned before, on Windows, this will be control plus and control minus. So I can simply press common plus to zoom in and common minus to zoom out. That's how I like to navigate my documents. I don't like to depend on the scroll wheel or go to navigator here every time I need to zoom in and out because while doing that, I cannot actually use any other tool. So I need to go to navigator on the right side or I need to pick the zoom tool here from the toolbar and this way I got this tool on aligned to my cursor but if I use shortcut I can have any other tool active at that moment because I'm zooming in and out just with keyboard so that's the biggest benefit for me and there's one more thing here as you can see hold spacebar so by holding spacebar you will jump to pen tool so you can pan around this look like little hand it's on the very top of the toolbar this allows you to drag yourself around the outboard while you zoom in again same reason i don't need to change tools i can just hold spacebar and if i release spacebar i back to the last used tool so for example if i got paintbrush i'm painting something i hold spacebar move myself to the right release spacebar and I'm back to the paintbrush. So that's really, really handy. All right, let's use the shortcut to zoom out. All right, one bonus one here. If you zoom out too much or you zoom in too close and you just want to reset the view, you can also hit Common or Control Zero. So you always get this optimal level of zoom, Common or Control Zero. All right, that was our first shortcut. The second one, square brackets. So while working with raster editors like Affinity Photo or Photoshop, very often you will need to use some kind of paintbrush or eraser brush, something like that. And to change the size, usually you can go to the top left corner and modify the size using slider like this. But again, it's taking you away from the artboard. So you can do it on the fly while using the tool by using brackets. So just left or right bracket will do so right bracket to make it larger left to make it smaller and it will work with all tools that allow us to modify diameter of the tool all right like paintbrush for example very handy because you don't need to lift your artboard you can kind of painting 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 and even use it on the fly while you are using tool that's really great all right, that was our second shortcut. Let's move to number three. Command Shift I. So what's that? While working with raster graphics, we do selection all the time. We want to select this element and work only on this area of the picture. But sometimes we will select something and we want to reverse that selection. Actually, we want everything else to be selected. In that case, we can click Command Shift I on keyboard and now the whole selection is reversed. Now everything is selected except of this area. So that's very handy. And it leads us to our next shortcut. Command D is very simple, but also very useful deselection. So deselect, deselect. You must always remember to deselect. This is like very, very common mistake with beginners. So they do some selection like little one at the corner something like that and they forget about this then they try to use let's say let's try to use paintbrush now all right i try to use paintbrush everything is correct i got my size color everything is good new pixel layer is here 
I try to paint and I cannot because of the selection. I can paint only inside the selection here. All right, so that's the problem. If you got some kind of selection on your artboard, you will be not able to see your tool working outside this area, only inside. It's why it's important to always deselect. If you don't need the selection any longer, come and D, you can deselect and that's it. All right, that was our shortcut number four. Shortcut number five, halfway through, this is really handy. So if you select the move tool, look like the black cursor here, the second tool on the list. You of course can move your objects around, but if you hold command or control on Windows, and you try to move things around, you will end up creating copies of that object. So you don't need to come and see command V or duplicate layers. You can simply hold command while you're moving objects to make copies for it, for that object. All right. Okay, so while moving, hold command to make a copy. And the follow-up shortcut, Command J. Command J will replicate your last action. Whatever you did, it will happen again. So for example, I use this shortcut we just learned. So I hold down Command and move this. And I create a copy. And now I will not do it again. I will just press Command J. Command J, Command J, Command J. And he make a copy for me and also move that copy at the same distance in the same direction. Very, very handy. This can really improve your workflow if you remember this one shortcut. Command J or Control J on Windows will replicate, duplicate your last action, your last transformation. All right, shortcut number seven, Shift X. Shift X simply for swapping between foreground and background color you can do it with just pressing x right you might already know that so we got this background and, fo and foreground colors we got two colors that we can swap quickly in between them by pressing x right so now i'm just selecting first one selecting that one first one but if you hold shift you will not only swap what is selected but you will swap the colors themselves so that's another way how you can kind of modify background and forward colors. All right, what's next? We got Command R, Command R. How can we use that? Let's try Command R. As you can see, my rules disappear. Command R again, my rules appear. So you can simply show and hide rules that measure the size of the artboard and the secondary function of this is you can pull out additional guiding lines like this only when they are visible so you need if i hide them i cannot do that if i can see my rules i can pull additional lines from them and i can use them to guide as guide in my projects i can also pull them back this area to delete them all right so that's common r next one it's just one symbol from the keyboard but very important one in affinity photo we got something called snapping so if i move this logo here and then i'm moving this to the center again at some point the program will show me this green line and help me to snap this element to the center all right, so we got snapping guides that help us to organize our elements in the project. But in some cases, we don't want to snap our elements. We don't want them to be exactly in the center. We want to offset them. And then the snapping is kind of making this harder for us. So in some cases, we want to switch this off. You can do it from here at the very top. If I click on the magnet icon, I will turn off the snapping, right? But sometimes you are already, already moving object and then you remind yourself oh I got snapping on now I cannot really position this correctly what you can do is to simply press semicolon and you will turn off snapping 
with this little symbol while you are dragging something. So you can still do it while dragging object and you can turn it on again while dragging object. So that's really handy to remember just one symbol but can help you a lot while dragging and organizing your objects around. So it will turn it on and off snapping. All right. So that's our shortcut number nine. And as you can guess, my shortcut number 10 <laughs> is command Z or control Z on Windows. And this is simply undo. Very, very often we make little mistakes or we just experiment with something. We don't like the results. We can always undo quickly with command or control Z. Go back to the previous state of the document. If you really mess up and you need to undo a lot, you can also explore this history panel here. When you, when you can see all actions you did recently and you can go back in time <laughs> to the version of the document you like the most. All right, so here it is. We got our 10 shortcuts. So before we finish, let me just remind you, I post two tutorials like this Per week so if you want to learn more about graphic design software consider subscribing to my youtube channel so one more time quickly first thing to remember comment on mac control on windows comment plus minus zoom in and out square brackets change the diameter of the brush comment shift i inverse your selection comment D will deselect your selection. Y, you moving object and hold command, you will make a copy, you will make a duplicate of this object. Command G, command J, sorry, command J will, will make a last action again. So you will repeat the last action, whatever it is. If you copy something and move something, it will happen again. All right. Here we got shift X to swap foreground and background colors. We got next one, comment R to show the rules. Then just one symbol, semicolon to turn on and off snapping in your document. And the last shortcut was comment Z, comment Z to undo your actions. When you make little mistakes or you just change your mind, you can undo, undo, and back to the state of the document you like. All right, that's my top 10 shortcuts for Affinity Photo. If you want me to create a similar video for different program, different software, let me know in the comments and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.